obviously this is a situation that's changing every few hours as we get closer and closer to the Thursday trade deadline. As of tonight, though, the Miami Heat are emerging as a team that's going to make a lot of noise come trade deadline. So right now it looks like the Miami Heat have the plan to create this all-star-like team full of guys that have made all-star teams in the past and some current ones as well and some guys that are going to get back to the all-star game in the future. It's looking like the Miami Heat want to go out and get two out of the three. Number one, they want to go out and find a way to acquire LaMarcus Aldridge, who, if he's not traded by the deadline with the San Antonio Spurs, you got to believe that the Spurs are going to buy him out. He's no longer playing with the group. You probably believe that they're going to buy him out if the Spurs are not able to pull off a trade. We shall see. But here's where it gets really interesting. We know the Miami Heat have been the one team that's been in the running for a guard for like the last five years now. They have been in the mix for Bradley Bill. Remember there was a spot where they were in the mix for Westbrook. They've also coveted a guard to put next to Jimmy Butler in Miami, definitely over the last couple years. It looks like Miami's about to strike on either Kyle Lowry or, and this is the one that people are seeing, the one pick up a little steam tonight, Victor Oladipo. So Kyle Lowry, if we want to just stay here real quickly and explain the situation, according to Brian Windhorst of ESPN, one of three things is going to happen for Kyle Lowry by the end of the week. He's either going to... Number one, sign a new deal with the Toronto Raptors. Number two, he's going to get traded to Miami and sign a new deal there. Or number three, he's going to get traded to Philadelphia and sign a new deal there. So if you're Kyle Lowry, you got a great list of, you know, it ends up with Lowry having more money in his pocket by the end of the week. All right. So that's a great scenario to be in. It depends on what Lowry, and, and you know, Toronto's letting Lowry kind of lead with this. Do you want to play in Miami? Do you want to play in Philly? We've heard rumors of Kyle Lowry having some type of love affair with Dabrowski, Jimmy Butler. And then we also, obviously, we know Kyle Lowry played at Villanova. We know he's got Philly ties. So we shall see if Kyle Lowry can join Jimmy Butler in the heat. I think that one makes a little more sense. Apparently, the Rockets' asking price is a little steep tonight. They're looking for picks or a young, good player. You know, Victor Oladipo is a guy who turned down a max offer from the Houston Rockets already this season. So, I mean, I'm looking at it like this. Oladipo is still trying to work his way back to his old version of himself, which was an all-star right before he uh, went down with that injury with, with the Pacers a couple years ago. The fact that Oladipo still trying to work his way back, turned down a max offer. Like, I don't know if every team's going to give Victor Oladipo a, a max offer. I don't think every team would do that. He turned it down, that security, to test his options at free agency. We know Oladipo wants to be in Miami. Now we just see how bad Kyle Lowry would maybe want to be in Miami. Here's what I think happens. I think Lowry stays in Toronto, and I believe the Miami Heat go bring in LaMarcus Aldridge and Victor Oladipo. Now on paper, that looks like a team that could, I mean, you're talking about a team that should be able to make some legitimate noise these are, I mean, and, and Lamarcus Aldridge can steal a ball. Oladipo, I mean, he wants to be in Miami that bad. I'm assuming the brother really wants to recommit to the best version of himself. I mean, Miami's been soaring as of late. It just comes down to that asking price, man. Are, are you willing to give up Duncan Robinson or Tyler Hero? For me, I'll give up Duncan. I'm not so sure about Tyler Hero. I think the Heat made a mistake re-signing Goran Dragic. I get why you, you did it. Dragic was, was great until the finals for Miami in the bubble last, last season. Uh, I just thought that Miami, he gave him some thank you money for being loyal to Miami through some bad years, and now they're on the better end of that as they were the Eastern Conference champs last year. I didn't like the Goran Dragic re-signing. It just felt like some thank you money to me. I don't know if the Heat are planning to you know move off of Dragic at the deadline as well. I'm just looking at that team. That, I mean, they, they've spent a lot of money, and if you're – looking to bring in a guy like Kyle Lowry with his contract, you're going to have to trade some pieces out. More than just a Tyler Hero or Duncan Robinson, they're on rookie deals. So we shall see as the Miami Heat, it looks like they're on the verge of creating this, 
I wouldn't call it a super team because they're not as good as, to me, still KD, Kyrie, and Harden with Brooklyn. And I still would put the Lakers big two, Braun and AD over their, whatever they put together as well. But right under that, we're talking about a team that has more talent than damn near anybody in the league not named Brooklyn on paper, right? They got the talent to get it done. So we'll, we shall see what happens with Miami. They will be the team to watch over the next 48 hours. Catch full new episodes of Pharaoh's music-based platform every day only on YouTube at It's Mr. Teller Pharaoh. You can also find clips, updates, giveaways, and more on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also at It's Mr. Teller Pharaoh. For all basketball fans, make sure you tune in to Pharaoh's daily highlights, reports, and commentary on YouTube at Hoops Pharaoh. And even more updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hoops Pharaoh as well.